iOS 14 is on its way out very soon. We've gone through seven betas, and now we are going to get the eighth beta, the Golden Masters. And today I want to talk about accessibility in iOS 14. iOS 14 is huge, huge, huge for accessibility because it's got a lot of major and necessary features. The first feature I want to talk about is the back double tap. Double tap back. It's got a weird name, but I'll admit it's very useful. You triple tap or double tap and you can assign different gestures. In my case, I triple tap the back for disability gestures and double tap the back for screenshots. I love it because it improves one-handed use and I don't have to reach for the power button every time I want to triple tap for accessibility shortcuts or press volume up and power for screenshot. No longer do I have to do that. I simply double tap the back, screenshot, triple tap the back, accessibility gestures. This is awesome. Uh, it's very useful for, there's different conditions. Some people have uh, uh, mobility issues with their hands and they can definitely get to some of the more difficult gestures a lot easier. The second thing I want to talk about is the huge, huge redesign of voiceover. Voiceover in the background can now detect images, so it does OCR, text recognition, and also object recognition. So, for example, say there's a slider, it's a volume slider, but the volume slider is not accessible. Voiceover will know using AI, hey, it's a volume slider and you can use the volume slider even if it's not accessible. This is amazing and honestly I praise Apple for doing this because all these websites that are not ADA compliant or web contact this is accessibility guidelines compliant you can now use these sites because Apple added a way for you to use them even if they do not have these accessibility features implemented. It's all out of the box. Go to any site. It works. This is awesome. The next feature is sound recognition. If there's a doorbell for the hard of hearing, you can hear the doorbell. This is great. Or if there's a baby crying, it'll tell you. This is great because that way you'll know if there's a sound going around. And this is for the blind visually impaired. This may not be as useful, but this is very useful for those who are hard of hearing. And I know there's a lot of people who are visually impaired or blind and hard of hearing, so that's why I put this in there. The next feature is, it's a sound amplification. So what they do is they amplify soft sounds and they can adjust frequencies based on someone's hearing. This is great. One more feature I missed is the sign language prominence for FaceTime. So FaceTime can now have sign language prominence for people who are hard of hearing or totally deaf. This is great. It's an awesome accessibility feature. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hope you enjoy iOS 14, iPadOS 14. They're the same thing. That's why I didn't cover iPadOS 14. All these features that are on iOS 14 are also on iPadOS 14. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.